Hey guys, welcome to the 175th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our address book project. And basically, what we're going to be doing is reading um, all of the people that we've stored in our XML file. So, we're going to have it do this when the form loads. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new XML document since we're going to be reading uh, the people. So, we're going to say XML uh, document xdoc equals a new xml document and then we're just going to want to load the xml document that we created so we're going to say xdoc.load and we can just say path since we created a path uh, up here we can just say the path plus and then that path to the xml file which is inside of our address book folder and then it's called settings.xml all right and now we basically want to loop through every single person node and create a new person and store all of their information that's in here. So we're going to say for each XML node, X node in, and then we just want to retrieve all the nodes inside this people node right here. So we're going to say xdoc.select nodes. And then we're just going to want to give the path to that person node, or all those person nodes. So we're going to say people slash person, since there are multiple person nodes. All right. So now each time it loops through here, we basically just want to create a new person, and then we're going to add it to this people list. And then we're just going to create a new item to add to this list view so that you can select all of the uh, people that you've uh, added previously. So first we're just going to want to create a new person here, so we're going to say person p equals a new person. And now we're just going to want to set all the properties of that person, like the name and stuff. So we're just going to have to read that. So we're going to say p.name equals, and then we're going to want to select a node inside of this person node. And the first node that we want to select is their name, and then we're going to want to get the inner text of this to retrieve the person's name. So we're going to want to say x node dot select single node and then we're just going to want to select um, that name node so we're going to want to select name and then we're going to want to get the inner text of that to retrieve the person's actual name so we'll get Adam for the first person right here and then we just want to repeat this process for all the different properties so we want to set their email um, equal to the email so we're just going to read out of the email node then for their address we're just going to say from the address node and property is called street address and then finally for the um, additional notes and we just called that node notes all right so now we have ones for all the text properties but what about for their birthday remember we stored it in this big number called file time number well what we're going to have to do is convert it back into a date time so we're going to say p dot birthday equals and then we're still going to want to get the text inside of here so that we can convert it into date time so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here, and we're going to want to select the birthday node. And yep, we want to get the inner text of it, but we can't just leave it at that since it has to be converted into a date time. So we're going to say date time dot from file time, and it calls for a long in here. So we're basically just going to have to convert this string that we read into a long. So to do that, we're just going to use the convert class. So convert dot to int 64 and remember an int 64 is the same as a long so we're basically just converting this text right here into a long or um, a 64-bit integer all right and now that we've created this person we can go ahead and add it to this people list or this person list up here so we can say people oops no nope, people dot add and then we can add that person that we just created so p and then we're going to want to create a new list view item and add this list view for that person's name. So we're going to say list view one dot items dot add, and then we're just going to want to add that person's name. And that would be p dot name. All right. So now let's just go ahead and uh, test this out, and make sure that it works. So now we debug here. We get all the people that we created previously. Now if we were to just create another person here, like say. Um, I don't know, Joe, email address, um, let's make it Joe at gmail.com, street address is that, main street, 
His birthday is, let's say, January 1st, 2000, 2000, and then additional notes will be, there are none. All right, so now let's just add this person, Joe, close it out, open it back up, and Joe should still be there. Yep, with all his correct information. Click Joe, his birthday's correct, there are, no, there are no notes, his full name is Joe, and there. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.